Hello, welcome to the free found an art night. I am so glad you're here. My name is Emily. I am the owner CEO of this found an art membership. I am an artist. I love to do energy healing and like art meditation and grounding. I haven't seen it in a lot of other places. And I just feel like there is such a need for us to slow down in our daily lives to just find something that really brings us joy and peace and allows us to just kind of tune everything out for a while and process what we're feeling inside. Um, so tonight I'm going to walk you through how we do that. Um, this is something I do every week with my members and I'm so excited to share it with you tonight. So first things first, we do some somatic shaking and releasing of the energy. So I'm gonna play a song and we're gonna like shake and dance for about a minute. And um, as we're shaking and dancing, we're just gonna like shake off all the bad energy and we're gonna have a really nice time and it's gonna be absolutely amazing, okay? So everybody stand up and this is gonna seem silly, just so you know. I know it seems silly. It seems silly to me every time I do it, but I promise you it feels so good when we're done. So we're gonna get our blood flowing and we're gonna play a song we we'll do it for about a minute. Are we ready? Okay. We're gonna shake. We're gonna shake. We're gonna shake off our junk, shake off the bad energy that was with us today, get it off our legs. Sometimes our energy likes to hide in our hair likes to hide in all the places. And I just want you to take it off of you and throw it right out the window. Any bad stuff that's come on to you for the day, we're just gonna get rid of it. So we're gonna shake. And it feels silly sometimes, but that's okay. We're gonna shake our arm, shake our other arm. Be a noodle. <laughs> shake your legs, shake your other legs. <laughs> Gonna feel so good. Shake your booty. Oh, shake your hair. Take it all out. Really get your hips going back and forth. Um, we store a lot of junk in our hips, and we can just get that all stretched out and moving. It helps us so much. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, some big stretches. Get it all out. Oh, man. That was a good minute and a half. I'm so proud of us for doing that. Okay. Man, this is awesome. So next thing we do is we find a comfortable position. I'm sitting in my chair, so I sit cross-legged because that's comfy for me. But you can lay down. I need some lemonade, just a minute. Okay, you can lay down. You can stretch out. You can sit in your seat. The goal is to find a place that is comfortable for you. You want it to be comfortable and relaxing in some place you're not going to be moving around a lot. Because if we're moving around a lot in our grounding, it's hard to really like find our center. So those sit bones right on your tailbone, we're going to sit on those. We're going to get comfy. There's something under me. Oh, a sweatshirt. That was not comfy. And we're going to just take some deep breaths. We're going to take another deep breath in and out. In case you didn't know, we're entering the grounding portion of this class. And um, if you've never done grounding before, the purpose is to center yourself back up again 
um, with the earth, literally grounding yourself in and just finding your good energy and just letting yourself breathe and flow with the earth around you. Um, sometimes you don't get it right away and that's okay. It can be really relaxing, even if you're like, okay, this is kind of weird. It's okay. We're just going to take some deep breaths. And I'll guide you through the whole thing. When you're ready, you can close your eyes. We're going to breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And on this next breath, we're gonna breathe in and then in again and then out. And we're gonna do it three times. Breathe in, again, and out. It's gonna feel like you can't breathe in more, but it really helps relax your nervous system. Breathe in, again, and out. Breathe in, again, and out. Let's do that one more time. But this time on our out breath, I want us to just go really like blow it all out. Breathe in, again, and out. Whoa. Yes. I want you to keep breathing normally with your eyes relaxed, closed. I want you to picture your inside. I want you to picture your heart. And under your heart, I want you to picture like your um, cradle area, just like between your hips. I want you to picture your tailbone. Now on our next breath, we are going to grow a root right out of our tailbone. It's gonna be a tap root, okay? Deep breath in and out. And that tap root is shooting through your chair, through the floorboards of your house, through the foundation through the soil and deep into the earth. I want you to pay attention to all of the mycelium networks. I want you to pay attention to the coolness of the soil. I want you to go deeper and deeper and deeper. What are the things that you see as you're going deeper? What do you notice around you as your taproot goes into the soil and travels deeper down and down and down? Are you passing crystals? Are you passing homes of insects? Maybe an ant colony? Are you passing aquifers of water? What do you see as you're going downwards? I want you to feel around you and feel what the, see what the earth feels like. Notice everything around you. On our next breath in, we're gonna travel back up our root system and back into our bodies. Deep breath in and out.
Now, we are back in our body and we are growing a sapling up our spine, up our neck, and straight out of the top of our heads. Deep breath in and out. Our next breath, I want you to see your sapling growing so tall. It's going to start having branches pop out all over it. And you're going to start to see what type of tree you've become. Deep breath in and out. Your sapling is growing growing up into the sky as you continue to breathe. And as you're reaching taller and taller, your branches are getting wider and stronger and fuller, and you are becoming the most beautiful tree. I want you to see what your leaves look like as they begin to sprout. I want you to see what everything feels like in the atmosphere around you. What does it feel like to stretch your leaves out big as they uncurl from the buds that they've started as? What does it feel like to grow your branches tall and strong? What does it feel like when the breeze blows in your branches and you gently sway back and forth? As you continue to breathe, you're noticing the sunshine on your branches. You're noticing droplets of water that are dew or humidity or even a light shower. You see the clouds passing by in the bright blue sky. You start to notice all of the animals that call your branches home. As you continue to breathe, you take in the kind of tree that you are. You see everything around you from this heightened advantage, vantage point. Just feel what it's like to become one with the earth. When the earth moves, you move. When the earth is breathing, you are breathing. Everything that the earth does is part of you. Let's take two more breaths to acknowledge and thank and be in awe of this tree that we have become. Noticing how strong. And powerful you are. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. In this next breath, we're going to say thank you tree and thank you root system. And we're gonna enter back into our body A big deep breath, and when you're ready, you can slowly start to open your eyes and come back to present space. Deep breath in and out. Thank you for doing this with me. Okay, while you're coming back to present space. I am going to move my camera so that you can watch the art properly and I'm going to turn it off so nobody gets motion sickness. So one moment, please. All right, friends. So this is going to be our art piece for tonight. If you can tell, it is a quilt square. 
I chose to do a quilt square because I had this deep longing and understanding that a quilt is kind of important in this transition transition period. Um, if you saw my emails, you saw that we're going to be talking a lot up tonight about the transition we're in. It doesn't really feel like summer anymore, but it's definitely not fall yet. Your kids, if you have them, have probably gone back to school. We're kind of in a limbo where like some people are already talking about Christmas, which just blows my mind. But right now, like, where are we? For me, as an adult, it feels like I should be doing something big and important, like starting school, but uh, I'm not. It's just like everything else keeps going on and the season has come to an end, but the other one hasn't started. So we're just going to kind of talk about that tonight. And I thought that a quilt would be pretty awesome to make for two reasons. One, right now, in my opinion, is the perfect time to have a picnic um, and we use a quilt to lay out on the ground and to enjoy our picnics and the cool evenings and in the cool mornings to just have a space of gathering and belonging. But also, as we come into fall, quilts are important for warmth. We sit and we feel cozy and warm with people we love. And I think that um, making our perfect quilt tonight not a perfect quilt, just a beautiful, relaxing quilt. It will be really nice as we speak about this. So if you have paper, get it out. Um, if you have a ruler or a straight edge, get it out um, and a pencil. Let me turn the page to a clean one. So um, I, whoop, my, whoa, sorry guys. My square that I have drawn here is an eight by eight square. This is really ginormous. I don't think everyone has to draw one this big. <laughs> uh, five by five would, or six by six would probably actually be perfect, but I wanted to make sure you could see it. So um, I've already drawn the square. Can't really see it here, but I'm going to tape the edges so that it's easier for everyone to see. You do not have to do that. If you have a painter's tape, you can, but absolutely not necessary, especially if you're using markers or something. Um, and then I'll draw in the line so you can see. And we may not get this done tonight, depending on how much detailing you want in your art. Also, I'm not quite sure why my camera is not focusing right now. Let me turn that off. <laughs> hmm. Okay, sorry about that. All right, I'm gonna do another one. And another one. My camera just has a hard time focusing when there's not a human face on it. So, all right, we have this drawn, this lined out, and next we're going to draw in our pattern. It's super easy, it's just straight lines. Um, you're going to find your center. This would be the part if you have a ruler, you should, I recommend using it. Find the center of your paper. And draw in your uh, center lines. And next we're gonna do over here, I'm gonna draw a diagonal here, and I'm gonna draw another diagonal here. 
you can do whatever type of um, quilt block you want. You can do all squares if you want. It does not have to be difficult or complicated. I think actually simple would be best for this. Um, but something you can do that's pretty awesome is if you just do split it into fours and then draw this square here and then just add some squares in to all of the places, you can actually erase the lines you don't want to use. And again, this does not have to be perfect. It is just for fun. It is for relaxation and for just having a nice time. Okay, now that I have this, I am actually going to add in some diagonals. here. And then I'm going to choose which ones I want to erase um, because I don't need to have all of these lines. Let me get my eraser. You can absolutely leave all these lines and paint all of them if you want. I don't want to do that. I'm going to erase the lines here in here. In here and here. In here and here. Okay. Perfect. Feel free to take your time with this too. I understand that I might be going kind of fast. And um, after I do this next part, I will let you guys give me a thumbs up for when you're ready to move on to the actual painting process. I am going to choose the colors I want. I'm using a watercolor set right now. Um, it's my favorite one. It's a Kiritake Gonzai. You absolutely do not have to have this. This could easily be done with pencils, crayons, or markers. But for tonight, I'm using my watercolors. And I'm going to think about the colors I want. On this other one I did, I did a lot of fall colors. I did um, these colors. I did a beige, a gold, a burgundy brown, green, pink, and I did not use purple and then blue. Um, I'm not going to use those same colors this time, but I am going to pick a set of about six colors that I want to do and swatch them on the edge. So I'm gonna just spray things while I decide what I want to do. And listen, if you cannot decide what colors you want, feel free to copy me or do rainbow colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and blue, blue, purple, green, blue, purple. Yep. Um, that's six colors. That's pretty awesome. Actually, why don't we all just do rain? I'll just do rainbow colors too. And that would be awesome. Got my clean water. Got my brush. I'm going to start with swatching a red and my red might actually be a little bit more pink. If you've never painted before, you want to take your brush and stick it into your water and then into your paint to get it wet. And then you just make a little swatch here. And then before you get to a new color, you rinse off your brush, wipe it off to clean all the color off, 
get some more water and go to your next color. And for me, that next color is orange. Wash it, dry it, go in for your next color. And it is yellow. Next one is green. By the way, we swatch things on the edge so that later we don't have to think about the colors we're using. This is mostly important when you're using um, colors back and forth um, and you don't remember which color you're using. So it's all right here. So you can match it if you are unsure. I don't know if I like that one, that green, but that's okay. Next is blue. And if you're finding that your watercolors are coming out too dry or chalky, depending what color, what type of set you have, just add more water. It's not a big deal. Just go through and add more water. And then I'm gonna pick this purple. Okay. So those are my six colors. Now, what we're gonna do, oh, first, I wanna make sure that you are breathing throughout this entire process. We're gonna take deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Okay. And we're gonna do that the whole time so that we don't forget to breathe. All right. So I want you to kind of look at your paper and think of where you want some of your colors out at. I am going to paint these four triangles first and I'm gonna paint them all the same color. So this is gonna be a not a lot of thinking, but a lot of just doing, okay? And I get a slightly bigger brush. All right. So I'm going to paint these ones mm, yellow. I'm going to paint them yellow. And I'm just spraying water in there. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. Um, are you guys ready for this next step? Give me a thumbs up if you want. Remember, this is supposed to be just breathing in and out. You don't have to worry. You don't have to rush. This isn't graded. There is nothing here that you can do wrong to make it a failure. There is no failing in this. It is just for you. It's okay if it doesn't look exactly how you want it. It's okay if no one else can tell what it is. That's okay. Because what we're doing here is just for you. Maybe there's not a lot that goes on in your day that is just for you. But right now, this is. And no one can tell you differently, okay? Okay. I am going to add yellow 
here, 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 and here. All right. Okay. While we're doing this step, I want you to think of some of the ways that this season right now have become kind of a lot for you. Maybe it's been a couple weeks of it. Maybe it's just today. Or maybe it's something that you're looking at happening in the future that is going to be difficult. That looking at it right now is really stressful. That when you look at the thing that's become difficult for you, it just makes your brain start to buzz in the worst way. You get anxiety, you get nervous. It's like you can't control what you're thinking about it or doing. And you know that when you walk into this situation, there's a good chance you could just explode because it's frustrating. I want you to think of those things that are happening right now. And as you're painting, I want you to put some of that anxious energy you have into your painting. The things that are buzzing around in your brain, I want you to think about them and let them out of your body through your hand. Let them out. Maybe your kid has had a meltdown every day since school started. Maybe you've had a meltdown every day this week because something is just too much. Maybe you feel like you just can't get anything in order and together. I know that I constantly find myself wishing that I had a better system, that my, all the things that I want would just kind of get themselves done instead of me having to be the one responsible for absolutely everything. I mean, yes, I created these messes that I got myself into, these um, projects that I get myself into. But just for once, I wish I wasn't the one who had to do everything. Maybe you know what that feels like. While we're painting these edges, I just want you to consider that. What are the things that just are exhausting to you right now. Maybe you're caring for someone who is high needs, a loved one or as your job, and it's just exhausting. And it's okay to feel that way. You don't have to feel guilty for feeling your feelings. I think a lot of times in this world, we're told that our big feelings are bad. That if we feel a certain way about something, it makes us a bad person. That we aren't allowed to have certain feelings. But my friend, you're allowed to feel your feelings. You are allowed to just feel the suckiness of some, of some stuff. You're also allowed to feel the joy of every single thing that you experience. 
but with all the goodness, there's also darkness. And that's okay. I'm gonna move on to my next color. I'm gonna to continue to take deep breaths in and out. And with this next color, I'm gonna paint the four corners and I'm gonna do that in orange, I think. Um, and as we paint these four corners, um, first off, if you touch wet paint to wet paint, it will bleed. So try not to touch wet paint next to the wet paint you just did, okay? All right, here we go. When we're painting these four corners, let's just let our brains sit in silence. Don't forget to breathe while you're painting. It's really easy to hold your breath. Just keep breathing as you're letting your brain sit in silence. Okay. What was that like for you? Sitting in that brief moment of silence. Does your brain race to think of all the things you have to do? Do you just dwell on something over and over again because it hurts too bad? What does your brain do when you sit in silence? Take a deep breath in and out. Let's do it again. In and out. Let's pick another color. I think I'd like to do red in these corners, uh, in these two and these two, I'd like to do red. And as we work on these next colors, this next piece, I want us to give ourselves grace. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> you are worthy. of rest. You do not have to have everything all together all the time. You are wonderful and you are smart. You are kind and you are full of love.
You are magnificent. It's okay if you don't have everything together all the time. You do not have to be superwoman. Sometimes the most wonderful thing you can do in your whole day is just being alive and just being yourself. If you're a mom, you don't have to be super mom. Just love your children and give them food. You don't have to be the one who has the Pinterest theme, Pinterest like perfect birthday parties. It's okay if you don't pack them a lunch every day. They have lunch at school. It's okay if you don't always remember to sign the papers when they come home from school. It's okay. Sometimes the best you can do is to just give them a hug. Give yourself a hug. And just let them know how much you love them. Some days, just waking up, it's enough. Some days are too hard. It's okay for you to feel your feelings because you are magnificent and you are enough. Mm. Take some deep breaths in and out. Deep breath in and out. One more in and out. I'm going to pick another color. I am going to do green in these remaining tiny triangles, okay? And as we're doing this color, I want you to really think about what it would feel like in your life if you believed for real that you are enough. That you are worthy of rest. That you are worthy of love. That you hold all the love in your body. You just have to turn it on. You are a keeper of light. You are a keeper of love. What would it feel like to live like that every day? To know that you are so wonderful and to truly believe it. As we work on these next couple triangles, I just want you to think about that as you continue to breathe and let these feelings through, flow through your arm, through your paintbrush and into your painting. Deep breath in and out. All 
And as you're working on this, I want you to remember that this is just for you. You can throw this away when we get done. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. It can be like a journal entry that no one else ever has to see. And if you want to throw it away when we're all done, you are allowed to do that. No one says you have to keep it and put it on your fridge. This isn't for that. This is for you to just feel your feelings right now. Like sitting in a yoga class. You don't put that on your fridge when you're done if you don't want. You don't have to tell anyone you did it. You just do it right now. And that's enough. Okay. Next thing we're going to do. Let's paint these guys here. I am going to paint these two purple and these two blue. Okay. As we do this, I want you to continue to give yourself grace and to really lean into what would my day look like if I radiated love. Okay, what would your day look like if you radiated love off of you? What would your interactions look like? How would the people around you feel? Would people think you're crazy or would it be kind of normal? There was a time in my life when it would have been really weird to see me radiating love. I was too angry. I had too much nonsense and just trauma living in my brain. Um, by the way, if you use yellow here and you're using purple here, when yellow and purple mix, they make brown. So if one of them is wet, don't, if the yellow is wet, don't touch the purple to it, okay? Okay, we're going to keep going. Maybe you feel like a rain cloud. But what would it look like in your life if you were an absolute ray of sunshine? How would you feel? If you lived in love. It doesn't really matter what other people think of you. As long as you know that what you're doing is full of love. Remember to take a deep breath in. And out. In and out. What would your life look, life look like if you were radiating love? breath in and out. I'm going to let this sit for just a minute before I paint these two um, because I do not want my blue and my purple to bleed together. So I'm just going to let this sit for a minute. I'm going to take a drink of my lemonade. If you have any questions and you're watching live, go ahead and put them in the chat. Okay. 
and blowing on my painting um, very gently as to not move the paint around to just dry the edges a bit. If you're finding yourself needing to blow on your paint, breathe in through your nose. Think of good and happy and beautiful things and then blow out through your mouth and let them settle into your soul. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Beautiful. And it's a little damp, but I think I can move on. And I go in with my blue, which I am running out of. Wowzers. I've had this palette for so long. Okay. I'm going to carefully go down this edge. Remember, if your yellow is damp at all and your blue touches it, you will make green. I'm going to go down this edge very carefully. Map this edge. I'm gonna fill it in. And then the next, I'm going to do this one. And I'm just letting my brain relax right now. I'm not thinking about anything hard. I'm just kind of sitting with those thoughts from before of living as pure, radiating love. Um, and I'm just letting those thoughts marinate in my brain for a little bit. And every stroke I take is just another part of the processing, processing of it. I encourage you to do the same. Every stroke of your paintbrush or your marker is another thought, another way you can radiate love, another way your life could change. There we go. So here are your options. When you reach this point, you can decide you're done and that's totally fine. <laughs> Sometimes you just decide you're done and you don't want to process anymore. And that's absolutely fine. But maybe you want to add more detail. I'll show you my other one really quick. Let me turn back to it. I added some lines, some flowers, some squiggles, some crosses and dots. Um, and I just repeated them on all the same colors. So I'm going to do that same similar thing on what we just created. Okay. Okay. So if you decide you want to do this part, you want to start with your first color first because it should be the driest. So we'll go yellow, orange, red, green, purple, and blue for me, because those are the way, that's the way I painted it to start with. If you only have one brush and it's just this, whatever size came with your paint kit, which is probably one of these sizes, 
figure out how to use it um, like on your edges of your paper to make patterns that you like, okay? So maybe over here you want to play with, I'll just do black for now. Maybe you just want to play with some pattern designs over here. Maybe some plus signs, some thick plus signs, some circles. Maybe you want to practice some stripes. Or some thick stripes. Totally up to you what you want to do. If you want to make little flowers, I just squish a bunch of like C shapes together, like a bunch of layered C's, and then put some leaves on them like that. So if you have a smaller brush, I would switch to a smaller brush for this. If you don't, it'll be okay. This is about the process. Pick things that make you happy. Maybe you just want to do stars and hearts and circles and polka dots. And that's okay too. So on my yellow, I'm going to use the orange. Because I think that'll be pretty. And I am going to just do stripes. on my yellow. Okay, I'm going to keep going with them stripes over here. Um, not all of my stripes are super straight, and that's okay. As you draw every one of your little things that you're making right now, whether it's stripes or circles or crosses, I just want you to embrace the changes that you thought could happen. I know this sounds crazy. I'm well, not crazy. Um, kind of like we just did it. Because you thought about what would your life look like if you made these changes, if you radiated, no, you thought out what your life would look like if you radiated love. The next thing we're going to do is think about what it would take to radiate love and set these changes in motion. Okay. What would it take to radiate love and to set things in motion? I have a secret to access the love. You just have to turn it on. You have to wake up every morning and choose it. It's not something that really comes naturally to us anymore. It does as a child. You wake up and you just learn to you love as soon as you wake up. But as adults, it's something we have to choose, like make a conscious decision for. And that's hard. I like the brush. It's hard to choose love. Sometimes it's easier just to choose to be a grumpy jerk. But to really choose kindness and love is kind of hard sometimes. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is the orange. And I think I'm going to use the red on the orange, okay? 
And I think I'm going to do flowers. So it'd be like just a bunch of C's. Again, we're not trying to win an art contest here. We are just trying to have a nice time. That one was kind of a mess. Oh my gosh, that's funny. My squares are definitely um, sisters, not twins. They might actually be cousins. I'm not even sure you can consider them sisters at this point with how they look. That's okay. How's it going for you guys? <laughs> It's so fun. I, I love this part of the projects where you just get to add little details in. It makes me smile. It makes me just feel warm and fuzzy and happy. And like, I could accomplish anything that I put my mind to. Um, even if it looks like trash, <laughs> that's okay. Because the point of this is to enjoy yourself. To have a little slice of you time where no one is bothering you or touching you or wanting anything, where you aren't working, you aren't doing this for someone, you're doing it for you because it feels good. And I think so often as women, we are like to hold that if it's not making us money or if it's not like making someone else money or caring for someone else's life, then it's not worth doing. And that's dumb. We can do anything just for the heck of it. And that's what we're doing right now. And it's pretty awesome. Okay, let's do another one. Next is red. And I'm going to use purple on red. What am, am I? Yes, I'm going to. I don't know what I'm doing. It could be a disaster. Wish me luck. All right, purple, more water. I kind of scoop the water up with my brush sometimes. Okay, and then dip it in my paint. What should we do? Let's do, um, plus sign, nope. I want to do stripes again. Is that silly? Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this. Stripes. Maybe thicker stripes? Sure, why not? I would consider what we're doing tonight be pretty abstract. Um, in my group, we switch it up. One week is abstract, one week is realistic-ish. Uh, it just depends on the week. And I have a schedule set up through December. So this one though, I think would be considered abstract because we're just kind of feeling, it's an art, thing that we're feeling our choices and not really thinking about them very much. And red just felt like it needed stripes. So that's what we're doing. Okay. Just go in and I'm just vibing with my paint right now. Zoning out and just going. 
going to darken some of these up. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is green. And technically, if we stick with what we're, we've been doing, it should be yellow on green. And I have no idea how that would look, so I kind of want to try it. Um, and I will do just like little lines. It works. It works. This is fun. Okay. Um, and if you have any questions for me about my found an art group, I'm going to open up that discussion at the end. And you can ask me any questions you have. And if you don't have any, that's okay too. I think I um as we're closing up with this though, just gonna tell you briefly um what it is as we're finishing just vibing with our our painting tonight. So Found in Art is a weekly member, a weekly um, art class. It's a monthly membership. And we meet for one and a half hours every Wednesday night. Um, three out of the four every month are live and one is pre-recorded. Um, every other one is abstract and we have realism in between. Well, not realism, I like watermelons or pumpkins or something like that, flowers. And then in the membership, I have basics classes, art basics. I have uh, some bonus classes. We've been trying out some family art and my kids have requested that again. So we will be doing another one of those. You will be getting a discount in my art shop. And yeah, every Wednesday night from 7.30 to nine Central Standard Time, we do um, just like we did tonight, the dancing and shaking, like the somatic movement. We do grounding and then we do art. And at the end, there's usually enough time to like chat if you want afterwards. Some nights we just sit quietly and paint with just like some guidance. Other nights, uh, we, I have a whole thing we talk about. And how I choose that is actually the energy I get from the group. I really sit and tune in uh, just with myself. Um, thinking about the members and kind of feeling what they need that week. And that's how we do it. I sit in prayer and meditation and I think about what my group needs. And it's been pretty cool so far that even if it doesn't make sense to me, the thing that I've been called to talk about, it makes sense to my group members. <laughs> and it's been really cool to see that. Um, I didn't expect that to be part of what we were doing, but it is, and it's been amazing. On the purple, nope, on the, which one's dry here? On the purple, I'm going to use blue, and then on the blue, I'm going to use green. So I'm going to do the blue first. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of what it's, that's what it's been like. And I guess, does anyone have any questions? I'll be sending out an email with the replay of this class um, tonight, hopefully, if it gets loaded in time and, or tomorrow morning, tonight or tomorrow morning. And I'll have information about my found in art membership in that. I hope you'll consider it. I hope you'll look into it. If you're needing something in your life to just be yours and yours alone, to do your thing and to feel your feels. 
that up, but I don't, I don't think I need to talk about it more right now because you can all read. But does anyone have any questions? We've got about 10 minutes to wrap up our painting and to say what we need to say while we are vibing with our artwork here. And if you have questions that come up that you can't think of right now, I actually have, uh, you can email me directly. You can respond to the email that I send you later or the one I that you got this link from. And that goes straight to my inbox and I'll get back to you um, as soon as I can. Wednesdays are my work days. So I am most likely to respond to you on a Wednesday, but I do have my phone with me most of the time. And if it's something quick, I will direct you to the answer quickly. We are just vibing. If you wanna share your artwork that you've done tonight, Remember, you do not have to. It is yours and yours alone, and you don't have to share it with anyone. But if you want to share it with someone, I would love it if you tagged me on Instagram at Emily Elizabeth Joy Brown. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and you can tag me in your painting, or you can email it to me, and I would just love to see it. I I love it when we can share our work. Okay, now I'm gonna do the the last color, the purple on the blue, and I'm going to do polka dots. And if you're watching this on the replay, um, the same all applies to you. You can absolutely email me at any time. Um, just respond to the email you got the link in. And I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And I would love if you shared your art with me. It is so fun to do this every week. And um, yeah. It's a joy in my life. So I hope it's a joy in yours too. There's those. We're almost done. Can you believe it? I can't. <laughs> Tomorrow in the found in art class, we're painting loose watercolor florals, and I'm really excited for that. Um, I know some people have asked for it, and it's pretty awesome. We're going to finally do it. It's going to be really beautiful and pretty easy. I think we could probably make a couple things. I say that now, <laughs> but we probably could. Okay, here we go. I'm all done. I know you're probably not, and that's okay. We've got a few minutes, so I'm gonna head and go ahead and close us out with some deep breathing to just thank this time, and then we'll be all done. So if you wanna join me in closing your eyes, place your hand on your heart and a hand on your stomach and breathe in. And out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Thank you for this art and this time we were together. Um, thank you for being here with me tonight and for allowing me into your space. I'm gonna pull my tape off.
And um, I hope to see you soon. Uh oh, I read my painting. Oh no. Um, yeah, so. There we go. Thank you so much everyone for coming tonight. I'm going to go ahead and wrap us up about five minutes early. I hope you have a wonderful evening and I hope to see your paintings or not. Keep them to yourself if you want. <laughs> All right. Bye now, friends.